when I came into punk rock music or alternative music, I just wanted to be different than the kids I went to school with. I went to school in Connecticut. And um, I just wanted to be different than all these kids. And all the kids were really into partying. And whenever they were like, you know, they were into partying and rock and roll and, you know, crappy metal and crappy acid, 70s acid rock and Led Zeppelin and ACDC and I hated all that shit and for me I was like I don't want to be anything like these people I don't want to wear their clothes I don't want to look like them I don't want to have this small town mentality so I lived you know an hour from New York City all my older brothers and sisters lived in New York City my parents are from New York City so I said I'm just gonna go to New York on the weekends when I was 14 and 15 so me and about two other friends um, would go on the train and then we found CBGB's we started going to punk shows there. And the more I got into punk, the more I realized that these punks are a bunch of dirtbag, drug-taking, smokers, drinkers. They're worse than the guys in high school. They're just in a dirtier set of clothes. You know, or they have a crazier haircut. So I came into it as an alternative, and then I realized that these hardcore guys, they're, they're just as bad, if not worse. I mean, when I was going into the hardcore scene in New York City, they weren't drinking keg. Like, at high school, they were all... They have, the big cool thing was you get a keg and you set it up and you have a keg party and you invite all your friends and the football team shows up and then the cheerleaders show up and then you're, you know, you're, you're pumping out beers and drinking beers and then you take the beer like this and you poke a hole and you, ah, you call that a shotgun. You shotgun the, the brew down. And I thought that was just stupid.